how to install the Android Pie system images on Google Pixel phones. Hi friends, Siddharth here from Technobus.net. Today in this guide, I will show you how to install the latest Android Pie system images on Google Pixel phones. This method will work any Google Pixel phone, whether it is Google Pixel 1 or Google Pixel 2 XL or Google Pixel 2. So let's get started. To install the fastboot system images on your Pixel phone, all you need, need a phone with unlock bootloader. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader of Google Pixel phones, then there is a link in the description. Follow that link and unlock the bootloader of your phone. So to install the system images on your Google Pixel phone without losing your data, all you need two zip files. One is the platform tools and the second one is the latest system image. Let's go to the desktop and I will show you from where you can download these files. To install the latest system images for Android Pie, you have to visit the developersgoogle.com Android images page. The link is in the description form. There you can download all these files. Here you can see all the Pixel phones like Pixel 2 XL, Pixel 2, Pixel XL and the Pixel. So. In this video, we are using the Pixel 2 XL phone. So we have to download the Pixel 2 XL system image file. So here is the link. You can see that 9.0.0 .0 is PPR1, the latest build for Android Pic Pi system image. I already downloaded the file. Here is this file. See, Taman PPR1 1806100. And the second file, you need a platform tools latest Windows zip file. To download all these files, there is a link in the description from there you can download these files. Once all these two files are saved on your desktop, first extract here the platform tools folder. I all done that. Here is it. And then extract the system image folder. Here is it. So we have the unzip folders of these two zip folders. Now let's go to the phone. And now you have to boot your phone in fast boot mode. To do that, first switch off your phone, power off, wait for 5 seconds. Once the phone is completely switched off, you have to boot your phone in fast boot mode with the help of two buttons, power and volume down. So as you can see, the phone is finally turned off. Now hold down the volume down button and the power button together. Now the phone is in the fast boot mode. You can see screens like this. So that means the phone is fast boot mode. Now you have to connect your phone to the computer with the USB type C cable. The same cable that you get with the phone. Here is it. Now we are connecting our phone to the USB type C cable. Now let's go to desktop again. So we have the files, we have the system image and we have the platform tools folder to install this system image. Okay, first open the system image folder. Copy all the files from here. Copy and paste in platform tools folder. As you can see, the files are all moving and now all the files are pasted here. So now here is the tricky part. To install the Android Pie system images without losing your data, you have to edit file flash all dot pad. Or you can say that, say that you can make some changes. You have to make some changes in this file. To do that, right click, edit with notepad plus plus here. You can see a line on 23th number fastboot minus w sorry update. You have to edit this file. Remove the this save. That's it. And now save. Make sure you save the file. Okay. Double check it. I did with no pet plus. You can see that. We already removed that word. Now all you have to do, your phone is in the fast boot mode. And you all you have to do to run this flash all bat file. Double click. Run. Now you can see the flashing process will start. And this will take around four to five minutes to install all the files on your phone without losing your data you can see at this time your phone will boot two or three times so don't worry about this will take some time 
need about two to four minutes once the flashing process is complete your phone will reboot automatically and the latest android pi system image will successfully install on your phone without losing the data as you can see that on the desktop it's extracting the system image file it's a big file it's around 220 mb file so this will take some time so let's wait So now you can see the file successfully flashed and the phone is already booted up and on the command prompt window you can see press any key to exit press any key and this will exit and now go to the phone and now you can remove the USB type C cable and now your phone is booting so the room is successfully flashed without losing any data from your phone. So this is the simple and easy way to install the Android Pi system images on any google pixel phone this will work on any google pixel phone whether it is google pixel or whether it is google pixel 2 all you need a phone with unlock bootloader yeah this will be must without unlocking the bootloader you cannot flash the system images on your phone so hope you like this guide do subscribe our channel like comment and share so take care and bye bye